Hi guys, welcome to this step by step guide on how to install TWRP recovery on any Android phone. In this video, I will show you a simple method to install TWRP recovery. This method works on almost all the devices. Whether you have an older phone with dedicated recovery partition or a modern device with AB partitioning scheme. However, this method does not work for Samsung devices because Samsung does not support fastboot command for flashing. But don't worry, I will be making a separate video on how to flash TWR recovery on any Samsung device without PC. So make sure to stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Now before we start, it's very important to unlock the bootloader. Because without unlocking the bootloader, you won't be able to install TWRP. Keep in mind that unlocking the bootloader will erase all the data. So make sure to back up your important files before proceeding. The bootloader unlocking process varies from brand to brand. So if you are unsure how to do it, you can check out my other videos or you can search on Google for a specific device. Now let's begin the process. I will be installing TWR recovery on this device, which is running on Android 10. But guys, don't worry, the method is same for the newer version. Even the device is running on Android 14 or Android 15, the method is always the same. So the first thing we need to do is enable developer option. If you are using Xiaomi, Redmi or Poco phone, then tap on MIUI version 7 time. But for the other brand like OnePlus, Realme or Pixel, tap on the build number 7 time. Once the developer option is enabled, go back to settings and open developer option. On Redmi devices, you can find it under additional setting. While on the other brand, you can find it under system settings. As you can see, the bootloader is already unlocked. So make sure to unlock the bootloader. If your bootloader is still locked, make sure to unlock it before moving forward. Now scroll down and enable developer option. This will allow your phone to communicate with the PC using ADB commands. Alright, developer option is enabled. Now to confirm the current recovery installed on this device, let me quickly boot into the recovery mode. To do this, I'll power off the device and then press volume up and power key simultaneously. As you can see, the device is running on MIUI recovery, which is the stock recovery that come pre-installed with this device. Now let me reboot the device and move to the PC screen. On the PC, the first thing we need to download is platform tools. This is nothing but the ADB and fastboot package, which allow us to send command to the phone from the computer. Once it is downloaded, it's time to download the TWRP recovery for a specific device. Guys, the downloading process for all the devices is same. Since I'm using POCO F1 for this video, I will search for TWRP for POCO F1. Open the first website that appear, which is TWRP.me. This is the official website to download TWRP recovery. Scroll down and look for the download option. Here it is, choose any option. Here as you can see the TWRP for beryllium. That's because the beryllium is the code for POCO F1. Now scroll further down and download the latest TWRP image file. You might see two different files. One is zip file and another is img file. For now, you only need to download img file. As img is used for flashing from fastboot and zip is used for flashing from uh, TWRP. Now that we have both the files, TWRP and platform tools. The next step is to extract the platform tool folder. Once extracted, move the TWRP file to the extracted platform tool folder. So let me quickly move this file uh, to this folder. Next click on the address bar at the top. Type cmd and hit enter. This will open the command prompt directly inside this folder. Alright, it's time to connect the device to the PC. As soon as you plug in the USB cable, your phone will prompt to allow USB debugging permission. Simply click on OK to grant access. Now in the terminal type ADB reboot bootloader. Press enter and your phone will restart and enter fastboot mode directly. So the phone is now booted into bootloader mode. Before proceeding, let's confirm the PC is detecting or not. So type fastboot devices and hit enter. If device is properly connected, you should see a serial number followed by the word fastboot. If you are facing any issues, let me know in the comments. First, we are going to temporarily boot into TWRP recovery instead of flashing it immediately. Uh, to do this, type this command. 
fast boot boot and file name instead of manually typing the file path you can drag and drop the twrb image once you hit enter your device will boot into twrb recovery guys if fast boot boot is not working for your device you can use this command once the device is booted into twrb the first thing we need to check is whether the device is encrypted or not if it is encrypted you will need to format the data in my case the device is not encrypted as you can see all the folders for those uh, with encryption issue simply click on wipe and choose format data here type yes and enter this will format the data and remove the encryption as you can see there is no folder available now the next step is to copy and paste the twrp file from the pc to the device so let me copy twrp file to my device Once the TWRP is copied, click on install and then select install image. Here is the TWRP, click on it. In the partition, select recovery and swipe to confirm flash. This will install TWRP permanently on your device. Now you might see you don't have dedicated recovery partition. This is because on the devices with AB partitioning scheme, the recovery is combined with the boot image. So there is no separate recovery partition. In such case, tap on advance. And you will find the option Install Recovery Remdesk. Click on that and flash the TWRP image to make the installation permanent. Once TWRP is installed, first reboot the device into TWRP recovery before booting into the system to prevent the stock recovery from replacing it. Once in TWRP, you can now reboot the system. The first boot might take some time, it's normal, so don't worry. And your device will also set up the device since we have formatted it. So let me quickly set it up. Alright, device is now boots up. So before wasting any time, let's confirm TWRP is permanently installed or not. So let me quickly boot into the recovery mode. First, let me power off the device and press and hold volume up and power key simultaneously for a few seconds until you see a uh, recovery mode and there we go we are now booted into TWRP recovery this means TWRP is permanently installed on our device and that's it you have successfully installed TWRP recovery on your android device whether you are rooting your phone flashing a custom room or just taking a full backup TWRP is an essential tool for any android enthusiast Guys, if you are facing any issue, do let me know in the comment. I will happy to help. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.